I want to get to some of the stories that I use in my sets, approximately 10 minutes in. If she goes to the washroom, I told you that one, she'll come back and I'll say, well, there, there's something about you and I, I missed you here. I don't know why. And then I'll brush it off like it was meaningless. Later on, I'll tell her a story. I begin this way. I have a fetish. No, I mean, I have a lot of fetishes, I know. Okay, but I'm not in that headspace right now. I actually have this weird fetish where, well, let me explain. Let's say you and I have known each other for I don't know how long. Six months? You think I can know you for six months without putting my hair out of my head? Oh, my God. Okay, so let's say six months I've known you. Let's say uh, it's near Christmas time. That would be Christmas time around then, right? And we're on automatic pilot. We're holding hands. Best friends of the bonus plan. There we are walking in the mall, and we're doing Christmas shopping for our friends and family. We're in the midst of rapt conversation, or in rapt conversation, rather, and as we're walking, automatic pilot takes over, and we end up walking into a store. If we were on your automatic pilot, what would that be? What store would that be that we'd fall, or, fall into automatically? And she may say Victoria's Secret. <laughs> Very nice. What about for me? Guess. Guess which place we would go into. You will never guess in your life. And she'll say, sharper image, or Brookstone, or something. And I'll say, no. See? That's what most women would think. Baggage stores. I have this weird luggage fetish. It's the weirdest thing. I don't know why, but you and I would just, for some ethereal reason, be captivated and drawn into a luggage store. And you'd say, babe, what do you have to buy luggage for? Like, who's going to buy, who's going to need luggage? And I have to respond, I don't know. I, I just, I'm in here. I love luggage. Like, I've got this weird fetish with luggage because I travel so much. Every weekend, I'm doing these seminars again and again and again all over America in every little city. It's amazing. But what if my bag, what if I lose the little zipper? I got to buy a whole new fucking bag. It's the weirdest thing. You know, I love all my bags to be nice and clean. Everything's organized, huh? You like this one? You like this bag? Isn't that sweet? It's the most annoying thing in the world. Guys love just, <laughs> what's in there? Rocks. Back off. Well, here's the weirdest thing. I look at you, and I think objectively you're a very beautiful woman, but, you know, beauty's very common. Look around. And I have to look away and break free from weirding you out, or especially weirding me out, because there are a lot of beautiful women here. And yet, there's something about you. I don't know what it is, but... There's something about you that captivates me ethereally and makes me look back at you. And I don't know why. And it, ca it just, it, there's something about it. And I look away and go, okay, that's weird. That's just, I don't even know you from a hole in the wall. You know, here's a hole in the wall. Here's you. It's the same thing. I don't know you. And yet I can't help you. You've captivated me. So really what I'm basically trying to say is, you're like a really nice piece of baggage. end of routine. Do you see, by throwing that into my comfort building stage, maybe 30 minutes in, maybe an hour in, maybe even two hours in, could do it on a day two, I'm already leading up to dealing with last minute resistance. Isn't that sweet? Here's another example. I went to the grocery store, you can call her up, and say, I went to the grocery store today, and you're an asshole. What? She'll say. Well, I was there, and they had pomegranates. And I love pomegranates. And I remember, you know, getting a couple pomegranates when I was a kid. And you know how dirty they are. They're really messy, and they take a long time to eat. So the best thing to do, what I've discovered, as, you know, when I was a kid, is you cut it in half, you take the time to open it all up, make a big mess, and take all those pomegranate seeds and put them into a bowl, and then you're good to go. Wash up, and then you can just eat those. Oh, it's awesome. Add honey. Honey, lovely. Well, I once had my hands dirty making a, you know, preparing a pomegranate for myself, and there was an extra pomegranate for my sister, and I thought, you know, I love my sister, and, and I, you know, we take care of each other. Uh, although, you know, she gives me noogies. Well, I once made a pomegranate for her. I, you know, prepared it. It takes a long time. You've got to put a lot of effort into that. And I, you know, saran wrapped the bowl and put it into the fridge. 
And she really appreciated it. Well, I don't know why, and I don't know you, but I wanted to do that for you. And I don't know if you like pomegranates. And that's why you suck. You hear where I'm coming from? You see where I'm leading? You can call her on the phone and say, what the hell are you doing in my dreams? I mean, it wasn't perverted or anything, but we were together, and this bum came up to you and started attacking you or something, and I just beat the living crap out of him. It wasn't one of those adrenaline fights, you know? It's in my dreams, I'm fighting this guy, and I'm going, why? Like, I woke up thinking, are you okay? Even though I know you're okay, and I don't even know you, what the hell did you do to me? You know, cast a spell or some shit on me? You know, did you, did you put a, uh, some sort of liquid, you know, liquid poison shit in my drink? I don't know what's up with you, man. You're killing me here. And all the way to last minute resistance now, when she'll think back, is this man pair bonded to me? Has this man's brain been hijacked? And I've proven it. Hey, it's Clifford. I hope you enjoyed that video. This is really the tip of the iceberg. In order to really transform your life into being the type of man that women go to bed dreaming about, you need to access our exclusive and famous free newsletter. To do so, click on the link below in our description and submit your application. Once your application is submitted, if I'm convinced that you've got what it takes to become one of us and make your dating life the stuff of legends, you'll receive a personal email from me with the next steps to take. I will see you on the other side.